Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to make a text wiggle in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and first off we're going to need a text plus. So we're going to go over to effect, titles and then we're just going to drag a text plus in our timeline. I'm going to switch the text now for whatever I want. So here there's going to be DaVinci Resolve and then I'm just going to switch from uh, semi-bold to bold and I'm going to increase the size of that text a little bit. Now we're going to need to use the ripple effect to make that text wiggle. So we're going to go over here to effect again. We're going to scroll down here to open effects and we're going to scroll until we find the ripples. We're going to take it and just drag it here on our text. As you can see, it's already affecting our text and creating some uh, distortion. But if we play it, as you can see, there is no animation going on. To do that, we're going to go over to the inspector here, click effect. And here we're going to have access to the repost parameter. The first thing you want to do is here you want to tick that box animate. Now, if we play it, as you can see, we got an animation going on. Shine, you don't care about it. It's just basically here if I were to bring some footage with color so we can uh, see how it will affect it right there. It's just that that will not affect your text right here. So that's just something to know. Uh, the cool thing though, if you take some footage and uh, here you can see that shine, it helps you to see a bit more the shape that you can create here with the ripple shape. So you can choose from a bunch of different options. Here you got square, uh, you got horizontal, etc., etc., and let you play around with it to define the shape that you want your wiggle to take. For now, I'm just gonna delete this, go back to my text, and here, the first thing that you can adjust is the speed of that animation. So right now we got a certain speed. I can just increase that speed right there, or I can decrease that speed. Now for the ripples, you get five ripples. Uh, by default, uh, there are two, three, four, five are uh, deactivated. If you want to activate them, you can just click enable right here. Uh, but in most cases, just one ripple will be enough. So just that you can combine them uh, with different parameters to create a specific look. Right now you can adjust the position so here that will be the center you can just move the position uh, horizontally or you can move it also vertically i can just double click on it to reset it to default parameter the amplitude will be basically the smoothness of that ripple uh, so amplitude and frequency are a bit the same in that aspect where here basically if i bring it down uh, it will just make the wave a bit smoother and if you increase that amplitude now as you can see it just create uh, more waves and it distort a bit more the text so the frequency is writing uh, in a similar fashion where here if i were to reduce it it basically going to increase the spread between the wave and we still have a lot of distortion but it still make the text readable but if you were to increase the frequency now we have a lot of uh, ripple and it just make the text like unreadable pretty much then we have the decay which is basically covering the overall spread of that ripple so here if i were to increase it as you can see it's just going to cover the entire text from the center to the border of the frame and if i were to just increase it here as you can see it's just more localized on the center so that's how you can control that spread and then the phase you don't care about it it's just basically at the stage of the animation uh, but if you just click animate you don't care about it that's just not going to be useful to you and that's pretty much it so now i'm just going to reduce uh, considerably the amplitude i'm going to reduce uh, the frequency as well and i'm going to reduce the decay as well all right so now if we play it as you can see we have the text wiggling and the animation uh, you can just extend that text as long as you want and the animation just gonna uh, naturally extend itself as well now, if you just want to adjust your effect, you can do that with the speed, with the amplitude, the frequency and the decay to just uh, play along with the overall strengths of that effect. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigastudio.com.